Fintech Business TV from Intersolar South America 2019 from Sao Paulo. Today already we had you know guys from Mexico, from Argentina, from Brazil of course and from China and uh, now we have a uh, Vero Italiano, Mirko yeah. Bindi who is coming here from Italy. From Italy of yeah. course. And uh, Mirko actually uh, we met Florence. Florence, 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 uh, Florence uh, Tuscan. Yeah. Tuscan. And we met uh, Mirko at our gala and the summit from yeah. billions to trillions. Uh, so we had already some discussions, and I would like to first uh, Mirko ask you for you know give us a feedback. How did you like the summit and also the gala? Well, the summit was uh, pretty interesting. Many interesting people to to network. Uh, the discussion was uh, actually very effective. We. You, could, you did a very good job. I mean, in uh, in uh, you know uh, moderation, channeling uh, channeling the discussion in a very you know effective way. Okay, so we end up with some conclusion, and so yeah, it's a good start, I think. What about the gala? Did you enjoy uh, the food <laughs> and the wine? Because you know we are Italian, so <laughs> the gala was perfect. Really, Leonardo did a very good job in organizing, and you too. Uh, yeah, lot of fun, a lot of good food. Uh, and yeah, very interesting people to, to yes. interact so, with. So if it's, you know, if it's opinion of an Italian, it means it was really amazing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, uh, Mirko, we just met uh, with Mercedes, who is representing you here in Latin America, and also with uh, CEO and Chairman of Daigo. Yeah. We had a great discussion. So first I would like to start, you know, if you can update us about Taigo, because I think we made interview with Taigo like 10 years ago, then there was you know, like the, it's always in life, you know, there's some ups and down and uh, apparently now Taigo is again in a good healthy position, we are entering more and more markets, having great customers like for example Sieges, yes? Correct. I joined uh, uh, Taigo in 2016, it's almost three years now, and uh, my position is Managing Director of uh, Europe and uh, EMEA in general. So uh, in the yeah. East Africa? Yeah, yeah, correct. Um, yeah, Taigo did a lot of progress mm -hmm. in, the, in the past, uh, in the recent years after its Vialon uh, uh, management. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's really back on track. Uh, we are uh, uh, starting uh, selling our products all over the world. Uh, oh. The main markets are uh, Australia, Europe, uh, uh, America is also very, very important for us as a, as a, as a country, as a, as a market. So yeah, we are really uh, selling our products all over. Because uh, actually, I, I, I can tell you that I was a bit worried, yes, because I remember that uh, at some point, Taigo resigned from uh, branding Taigo, and uh, it was more like you know, supplier, yes, of uh, the final product. So. Uh, people were starting forgetting about Daigo, but uh, now I see that you know even uh, you didn't use a uh, t-shirt, <laughs> so which is significant, yeah, that you don't have you know like a tie and stuff, but you have Daigo t-shirt, yes, which, is, which means that you uh, returned again to the roots, you know, to build a strong brand. Yes. Yeah, no, no. It, Taigo philosophy and vision is to bring value to these and features to this industry, which at the moment are not very developed. Okay, so. Customers are choosing Taigo because we're bringing uh, extra value, mm -hmm. so a better return on the investment uh, and extra features, so like uh, safety and monitoring and module level. Mm -hmm. um, so um, yeah, it's a uh, it's a very exciting moment for us, uh, Thomas. And uh, we are just discussing also about Israel, that uh, there are a lot of plans to bring floating systems, yes, to Israel. And then actually you have some special solution for that, yes? Correct. I mean, uh, I was tell I was speaking about safety. Mm -hmm. Okay, safety uh, is something that uh, it's uh, very uh, um, one of the most daily important. discussion. Yeah. Okay, there is a regulation that are popping up uh, all over the world. Uh, the main and the most important is in, in America. You know, that starting from January 2019 this year. Uh, there is a regu regulation called a rapid shutdown, ah. which basically is mandatory to have uh, uh, a product which is uh, basically shut off the modules uh, to increase the safety of, of the installation. Okay? Uh, so speaking about floating system, uh, these uh, features is more and more requested because you know uh, you have installation on the water, and so 
Yeah, we, we, we are winning project in Israel. Israel is uh, have a very uh, challenging target by 2020. So they are running like crazy in Starlink. And so most of the installation will be on the water. Oh, that's And so uh, in the reservoir, uh, yeah, and we see our product very requested in that, in that market. Yeah, because normally people think, okay, uh, floating, so it should be for the countries with a lot of lakes and stuff. And here uh, it's quite surprising, yes, that Israel, because I think it's mainly because of the price of the land, of lack of the land. Yes. Yeah, it's a matter of pricing, it's a matter of uh, having uh, the you know, uh, certification and, and the approval uh, quicker. Mm -hmm. and so it, it's also smarter because, uh, uh, you know, uh, very simply and very, uh, to make everyone understand that. Uh, when there is a hot, uh, hot weather, I mean, the, the water can, uh, can boil, mm -hmm. vaporize. I mean, if you cover, uh, so you, you also save water. Okay? Ah. So there is also this uh, additional this, uh, factor, yes? Additional factor, yes. And actually, in these countries, uh, energy is not such an issue like uh, lack of water. Yes? Lack of water is it's an issue all, all over there. So they, they have, uh, I mean, so they produce energy and also protect the water. Mm -hmm. So uh, you are mentioning, Mirko, uh, that uh, we have a common friend. In oh, some yeah. way, also mentor, one of the pioneers of our industry. Also, uh, Alex received our awards, visionary award. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. What, what can I tell about Alex? Alex is uh... Alex Levan. So first, Alex thumbs up for Alex. Yeah? <laughs> our friend. We are just we are speaking about Alex, and we are missing you, Alex. Yeah? So yeah. next time you should come also to Brazil. Alex, uh, he was my mentor. I learned a lot of things from, from him at the time when I at was Power working with Power One. Okay. Yes. And so, what can I tell you? I learned a lot of things from, from him. And uh, looking forward to join this club also because he is part of this club. And uh, I think that uh, what is very important, like we discussed also during our su summit, that uh, uh, clean tech, solar, it's not B2B, not B2C, but it's edge to edge, human to human. Yes? Yeah. And I think this was one also of the lessons that you learned from Alex. Yeah? Correct. I mean, it's uh, it, uh, it, it, it teach to me that uh, when you make business, uh, you make business uh, uh, with individuals. Okay, mm -hmm. and also I've learned from Alex that uh, when you close a deal, eh, mm -hmm. you have to, uh, both of the party must be happy. Okay, mm -hmm. you never have to, um, I mean, overwin. Okay? And so this is a big lesson of life that uh, I've learned from Alex. I will always remember. Okay, so Alex, thumbs up <laughs> for you. And uh, last question I would like to ask you about um, uh, Taigo in Latin America, yes? Mm. So can you tell me, you know, which are your key markets and who are your key partners? And last question will be, you know, how did you like Intersolar? Did you have a place, you know, <laughs> amongst the crowd? You know, um, I mean, uh, Taigo strategy is, uh, is I mean, the, the vision of Taigo is to become uh, the model level for electronics uh, provider for the world, okay? So the aim of uh, uh, aim high, okay? So uh, uh, yeah, in, in Latin America, we are just starting. We have uh, signed a contract with uh, with CHS, which is one of the biggest uh, uh, player in, uh, in, uh, in in Latin America. And so I was here supporting uh, CHS because uh, I know Leonardo. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so human to human. Human to human, yes. And so. Yeah, Tiger would be part of uh, a uh, platform, so we are very honored uh, about that. Uh, among that, uh, yeah, in, in, in InterSolar, yeah, it was incredibly busy. I mean, it was uh, for me that I come from uh, for Europe, I was even not expected. So yeah, a lot of interaction, a lot of networks, a lot of uh, people to, to, to do business. Okay, so thank you all so much, Nico. I think we need to finish here yeah, because in... Uh couple of minutes uh, the citrus party <laughs> will start okay. so we need to leave and thank you so much uh, for your feedback thank and you i hope much. to have you and also chairman and ceo of uh, taigo amongst uh, solar business club members and you know let's grow our community and our market together thank you, thank you so much uh, last thing last thing last thing so do you remember what is the flagship sign of solar business club ah yeah of course <laughs> yeah <laughs> Thumbs up for Solar, thumbs up for Taigo. Thank and, you. And uh, thanks for watching. That was Clean Tech Business TV from Sao Paulo, from InterSolar, South America. Thanks so much. Bye bye.